In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where Roblox failed to download or reply critical settings. So if you're getting this error message, there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and fix it. Now the first step is just to open up the start menu on your computer, go and search for task manager and then click on the task manager window. From task manager, click on the search box at the top and go and search for the word Roblox. Now if you see any processes here relating to Roblox, then just right click on them and select end task. Now once you've shut down all of your processes, you can close out of this window. We're then going to open up the start menu and search for run. Click on the run icon and then type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and press enter. Scroll Scroll down to the bottom of this page until you see the Roblox folder and double click on this. Then double click on the folder called versions and you're just going to select everything inside of this folder and then click on the trash icon to delete it. Once all of this has been deleted, we're going to open up the start menu, search for CMD and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now you need to type in net sh space int space ip space reset and press enter. Now type in net sh space winsock space reset and press enter. Then type in ip config space forward slash release and press enter then type in ip config space forward slash renew and press enter and lastly type in ip config space forward slash flush dns and press enter once you've done all of that you can close out of this window you'll then need to go and restart your computer now this is really important in order for this to work once your computer's restarted open up an internet browser and head over to the roblox website then just click on any roblox experience click on the play button and click on download roblox then you'll just need to go through the steps on the screen to reinstall Roblox to your computer. Now once Roblox is installed just make sure to run this as an administrator. You can do this just by right clicking on the application, clicking on properties, click on the compatibility tab, check the box next to run this program as an administrator and then go and press apply and ok. You can then double click on the Roblox player to start playing Roblox and it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next